Hello and welcome to module 6.6. In this video, we're going to look at the Beidou system of navigation satellites. Beidou is operated by China, and it is sometimes has been called Compass, although nobody uh, really calls it Compass anymore. If you see the Compass system, it's just really known as Beidou. In the neighborhood of where all uh, the satellites live, you'll find Beidou at geostationary orbit altitudes and at MEO altitudes. So it's uh, got more uh, different orbits than any of the other constellations. And it has both geostationary and geosynchronous orbits. Geosynchronous similar to what we just learned in the previous video with QZSS. So let's take a look at the geosynchronous orbits of Beidou. So uh, there are five satellites in geosynchronous orbits, and we have this short video to show you what they look like. And if you look at this, you'll see these satellites chasing each other around in several different planes, and doesn't really look like much until you put the drop lines as we've put here. And this, these drop lines show you that the ground paths of all these satellites produce just two figure eights uh, with longitudes such that they sit right over China. And now when you play it, so this is the exact same, the exact same simulation as before, except now you can see where the satellites are over the Earth with the drop lines. And then what becomes quickly apparent is just, just not any old random orbits in the sky. This is really a beautiful ballet of five satellites where as these satellites orbit, they are synchronized so that they produce these figure eights that go right over China, and thus providing very good coverage for China. And if we go to the 2D picture, this is what it looks like. And you can see the, the figure eights here. There's one that has two satellites in it. And then there, here's this other one that has three satellites in it. And then there are five geostationary satellites at these longitudes there. So you can see from this picture that you get very good regional coverage from these 10 satellites. And then there are another four MEO satellites, medium Earth orbit satellites, that uh, will have ground paths very similar to GPS that, that cover the whole Earth. And so they would put this line across the Earth like on a tennis ball, just like the GPS orbits. And there are four satellites in those kind of orbits. So the interesting thing is that there is global coverage, but the very sparse coverage away from Asia and very good coverage over Asia. And a nice uh, little snapshot of this is given uh, by this experiment. Um, there are f phones right now with uh, Beidou, with chips that support Beidou in them. This is one, the uh, Samsung Galaxy S5, and that's what's shown on that screen. And uh, the blue lines on here show you GPS satellites. Uh, the green lines show GLONASS satellites. The yellow line there is a QZSS satellite. And the red line is, these red lines are Beidou satellites. And uh, these dots on the map show what was seen in San Francisco, California, half, halfway across the Pacific Ocean, and then coming down to land in Shanghai. And then you, well, you'll see a very interesting pattern. Uh, in the US, you see two Beidou satellites, then four, six, and nine as you get closer to China. And so the coverage in Asia is, so you'll see something like nine Beidou satellites almost all the time. So now let's focus on the MEO satellites uh, of Beidou. And there's four of them. And as you see from this picture, they have a slightly higher orbit. So there's the orbit of the Beidou MEOs, and there's orbits of GPS. So Beidou's at a slightly higher, higher altitude. And we know from Kepler's third law that therefore they should have a slightly longer period than GPS. And now we know uh, what the right question to ask is is instead of asking what's the repeat period of the parent orbit, which was the hard question to answer, we ask the better question, how long does it take 
a Beta Omeo to do 13 orbits? And we choose to ask that question because just like with GLONASS, where the system designers chose an integer fraction uh, orbital period where the integer fraction was something close to a half, the same is true of Beidou. They choose an integer fraction close to a half, in this case, 7 13, so a little bit more than a half. And we've learned from a previous video that the right question is, how long does it take Beidou Mio to do 13 orbits? And so that's the quiz question for you to answer. And uh, welcome back. And so having done that quiz, you'll know that uh, the answer, of course, was seven sidereal days it'll take to do 13 orbits. And of course, in seven sidereal days, the Earth has rotated seven times. And so the repeat period for Beidou is seven. And we can put that, now we can ask that question, what's the repeat period uh, for the Beidou Mios is seven, and so for the entire constellation to appear back in the sky where it was, think about it like this. The Mios will be back where they were in the sky after seven days. The Geos always seem to be in the same place, and the geosynchronous satellites will appear in the same place in the sky each sidereal day. So the combination of all of that tells us that after seven days, the entire Beidou constellation seems to be back where it was in the sky seven days ago. So that's what the whole constellation looks like. And there's a summary of it. Uh, the Mios are at 55 degrees inclination, just like GPS. Uh, and the signals are transmitted, uh, CDMA signals similar to GPS on three different s frequencies, also similar to GPS, but not exactly at the same frequencies as GPS. There uh, are two civilian frequencies, and those are the ones we care about. Um, and they are called B1, similar to L1 for GPS, but it's called B1 for Beidou. And at 1562 megahertz, remember GPS is 1575, so GPS would be over there. And uh, B2, similar to GPS L2, and it's at 1207 megahertz. There's a third signal at a B3 frequency, but uh, that's not a civilian signal. So when you look in the interface control document of Beidou, you'll find information about B1 and B2. And in consumer products, such as cell phones, etc., this is the one that gets tracked. The current status, you can find that in the Almanac, uh, just like uh, this GPS World Almanac, just, just like the other constellations that we've looked at. And if you go look there, what you'll see is that there are five operational geos. One, two, three, there's one there, and there's one there. So that's five geos. There are one, two, three, four, five geosynchronous satellites uh, labeled IGSO here, strictly speaking. Uh, called inclined geosynchronous orbits because of the inclination. And then there are the, the four MEOs that we talked about for a total of 14 satellites. And that's the complete regional constellation. In the future, Beidou will add more MEOs, more medium Earth orbit satellites that will give them global coverage very similar to GPS. Uh, and that system will be known as Beidou 3. This system is known uh, technically as Beidou 2, and it's a complete regional system. It's uh, uh, 14 is the final number for this regional system. And uh, then for specific details of it, this is the Beidou website run by uh, the Chinese government, beidou.gov.cn, and you can find more information there, including the interface control document.